Hello Sparkles, welcome back to my channel. So this is the second part to our group buddy color. In the last um, video, we did the background with um, distressed crayons. Um, <laughs> we learned very quickly that the paper in um, Camellia Angel Cova books are not good. For distressed crayons especially when you need to activate them with water um, and if you want to use the uh, stencil techniques if you will that his um, Tim Holtz distressed crowns are like known for these are not the books to do them this this paper <clears throat> this paper is just way too thin it does not take the distressed crayons very well. Um, it doesn't blend out the way that you're supposed to. One of the great things about distressed crayons too is that when you're using them and if, if it overlaps any of the other things that you're going to be coloring, you can just take like a baby wipe or a little bit of a damp towel and just kind of wipe it off. That's how you kind of get um, your your um, stencils to work as well. And because this paper immediately tears when it gets wet, I do not recommend distressed crayons. But I already started, so I had to commit, and I'm gonna stay committed. <laughs> so because I couldn't wipe off some of the distressed crayon where I kind of just went crazy, that's one of the highlights, that's one of the perks, so to speak of using distress crayons is because you can kind of go a little crazy knowing that you can kind of take some water and wipe away what you don't want. You can't do that on this paper. One of the perks also that I wanted to use in this was using some stencils and I'm not going to be able to. So I have to figure out what I'm going to do to bring the background to life. But right now we're gonna focus on our girl and our puppers here. And because I do have some distress crayon on um, her, <laughs> I'm going to use alcohol markers. I think alcohol markers will go over this. I, it's kind of waxy, but I really do think that they will work. I'm going to try to stay focused, um, on some bright colors. Cause now whatever I put down on my dog and my girl, they're going to compete for attention, so to speak with this background that did not blend the way that I want. But I think I have a way to, um, the only other thing that I can think of to do is to take a black alcohol marker and black this whole thing out and then use glitter pens to add stars and such. Or I can leave it and see what I can do with it with glitter pens and some other mediums. So what I think I'm gonna do is color our girl and our doggy here and see what it looks like. And if it's really, really, really competing, it like it just looks like a mismatch mess, <laughs> then I might go in with my black alcohol marker and just cover all of this up. But let's color her first and then we'll go from there. So, <laughs> this is one of the things that um, you just have to roll with the punches when you uh, when you cover, and it's nothing to get stressed about, really and truly. There's you can fix anything, in my personal opinion, unless the paper is like torn up and beyond repair. I'm trying to get like a best angle for you guys. There you go, like torn up and beyond repair. Anything is fixable. We can fix it. Okay, so we're gonna go in with her face first. I'm gonna look for um, number 29 here. We're gonna get her skin colored in with our alcohol markers. Um, I really think the alcohol markers will help this because they're a very bold base color. Um, they will definitely stand up against our background. I wanted more of a blended background um, that I was gonna remove some color with with the with um, our wet medium and such. But listen, it didn't work out that way. You just gotta keep moving forward. I'm not gonna let it uh, 
put a hitch in my giddy up, so to speak. We're just gonna keep moving forward. And if, like I said, worse comes to worse, and I gotta black out the whole background and start over, then I will. Maybe instead of using um, a black alcohol marker, um, I would go in with black acrylic paint. Uh, we'll have to see. We'll see what we get with when we get done with this. So um, I'm going to give her some bold purple eyes. I want to pull in some of our colors from the background here. So, so instead of talking through this whole thing, what I will probably do is just color and speed this up for you guys so that you, so this video doesn't get super, super long because this is quite a bit to color. So I think that's what, hmm, that does not look like the blue I wanted, that's for sure. Okay, sorry, <laughs> talking out loud. Um, so that this doesn't get super, super long for you guys. So I'm just gonna shut up and speed this portion up.
Okay, so we have a little bit of a basis here. I do like the metallic um, pens. Um, they, they're like um, gel pen. I do like those. I like the shine and the shimmer that they give this. I like the base color we have here, but I do think that my background completely washes them out 
I did not achieve what I wanted to. I want I wanted to remove a lot of this color with stars and circles all around and then take these paint pens and then like go in the circle to make it look like little universes and more stars. So a lot of this color would have been blended out better and then popped with white spots, you know, to make it look like starries. And I, I'm just thinking that this background is competing with the main colors that we have going on here. So I really think that I'm actually going to sit down and paint this with a black acrylic paint and then work on the background. So I'll be back. Okay, so I actually used um, chalk paint because I thought if I used the acrylic paint, it might be really shiny. So I used the chalk paint so that the pens that I would use would really pop. And I used a jelly roll to put in all of the little white spots. And then I picked up these pens. They're metallic brush markers from the Dollar Tree. I got one in green and in silver, and they actually worked really, really well. And I put those in the background just to give the background a little bit of texture, a little bit of movement, um, instead of everything just kind of being really, really white. And I'm really surprised how well these little markers, these little brush pens from the Dollar Tree work. Um, they're really nice <laughs> for $1.25. So I might go back and see if I can't find some other colors. I would really like to see if they have like a red and a gold because those would be great for Christmas. But um, I'm happy with the way this looks. I think this looks uh, much, much better than the previous background. Um, my characters are not competing for the background. They're not washed out. Um, I wished I really do wish that I could have done my original plan. I really did not consider this paper. Um, so, but I'm not gonna give up. I am going to try to use the Tim Holtz um, Distress Crayons on another page, but from a better book with much thicker, heavier, toothier paper. <laughs> and give it a go. Um, but it's okay. Listen, I, I'm just, you know, you make mistakes. This is part of coloring. And sometimes you color something and as you're coloring it, you're like, oh my gosh, I really don't like this. I don't like how this is coming out. And believe me, I have moments like that. And I have like two or three pages out there um, that I call DNF, which is called, which is just short for did not finish. And I try really hard in my coloring not to do that, to try to salvage or do something or change it up because it's just coloring and it's supposed to be fun. But I understand that feeling of like when you do something and you're like, oh my gosh, this looks horrible or I made a mistake or something. But sometimes I like the challenge of when I make a mistake or it didn't turn out exactly the way I want. And I think I really salvaged this page. I don't think it turned out that bad at all. So I just encourage you, especially if you're new at coloring and you wanna start this as a hobby, you know, if you have some pages that you're just like, oh, I'm just not really sure, don't give up on it, keep trying. If it's really bad or you really, like it, it just, it's not fun and it's making you really uncomfortable or whatever, that's not what coloring is about. Coloring is supposed to help with like anxiety and anxious thoughts and it's supposed to help with relaxing and things like that. If it makes you feel worse or gives you anxiety, then maybe that page you do DNF <laughs> and start fresh, but, I like the challenge though of seeing if I can't salvage something I kind of messed up. And I think this one, I think I salvaged it not too bad. So this was a really fun buddy color. I learned a lot. I now know that I will not use wet mediums on these books. I absolutely love um, her books. I, I have like four of them now. I really want to get her Christmas one. I just realized that alcohol markers and things like that are really going to be what really is used in these books. But I really hope that you enjoyed this. It really was more of just like a color with me, but that's what this channel is about. So I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that you like the end process. Let me know down in the comments. And I just wanna put it out there too that I have started, um, I had many people ask if I would open up a Facebook group <clears throat> so that you guys can share your work and I can see it because not all of you had Instagram 
and I did do that and the link is down below. It is a private Facebook group. Um, lots of people prefer that the group be private. Um, they don't want people seeing all their work and stuff like that. And that's fine. Totally get it. So all you have to do is ask to join and I will approve you. So that is down below. If you are on Instagram, I am on Instagram. I share there daily. And if you take place in this, which this was the group buddy color. So if you have this book and you do this and you tag me and you use the hashtags, I will post this on my Instagram stories and I will pin it to my highlights on my Instagram. But you can also share all of this too over on the Facebook group. Again, all of that is linked down below. And if you are new to this channel and you want to join, we are going to be doing a whole bunch of things. I encourage you to subscribe. It's free <laughs> and we're going to have a good time. And I'm really excited about the upcoming months. I can't wait to start coloring for Christmas. So. Anyways, you guys have a great day. I'll be talking to you very soon. Thank you so much for giving up a portion of your day to spend it with me. It really makes my day brighter. I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye, Sparkles.